Got a pleasant surprise this morning. It's only uh, six o'clock. And I got up at one o'clock to check these lot. And then I had a look at my camera at about three o'clock and there was now. But I did suspect this number 77. I think it's her. I think that's mum. Yeah. I did suspect her uh, being a bit close, but not as close as that. Yeah, not as close as that. So, so yeah. And I did, I did say to myself, bloody hell, she looks a bit tight at back end. Um, I hope she doesn't have struggle um, carving. And uh, yeah, she carved all by herself. She, she's an effer, she's an effer and all. And uh, these lot have just left her totally alone. So procedure is now just check rest and get them all up and then I'll walk them two into this little holding pen here so we can monitor them until until the um and make sure that this little I ain't even checked its I ain't even checked its sex I think it's another little heifer which is good if my forward plumbing is gonna be how I want it because all these effers, which I think there's five so far, no, four so far, are going to be to the new bull. So, but yeah, she's cleansed, so she's definitely finished. She's cleansed down here, which they usually eat, actually, but, I mean, it's got, it's it's rained that much last night that the yard's flooded. I mean, we're going to have to take some muck out. Bloody hell, Stark, was it Stark Garrick or something, whatever he was called. Um, every wet night gets a bloody uh, name now, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, so yeah, it's rained all night and it's just messy in here. So we're going to have to sort of take a bit of muck out and uh, start afresh. But uh, yeah, lovely job. The last of that's a bit of history Ollie's got. We jet passing away, that was Jet's kennel. And we used to have a couple of uh, square bales for uh, just like a windbreak. And yeah, that's a bit of history, that's the last one. Bailed with a new Ollen 954 little bailer. We had, we had a brand new 459. And then uh, we sell that and decided to do a few more. We bought a little uh, new Ollen. So, yeah, a bit of history. End of an era. Go on back. Oh, oh. Oh, there you did, dickhead. Go on. Oh, oh. Oh. To death, we're doing trees with it, snapping uh, them back bits and uh, and snap to time. Off. supposed to be doing just keeping them back like
we're putting this shit on it's wanted to be done for bloody donkey years. We've always run, when we muck out, we always run cattle through an arrow passage right way around here into this yard. And uh, anyway, this bloody back dropped a bit, so we decided to build a gate. So all we do now is open that gate, open that gate, make them meet and place them same again there and just run them straight through so we don't have no cleaning up. And we ought to have done it, yeah, like I said, 20 years ago when I left school, really. My dad ought to have done it when uh, he invented the farm. Not invented the farm. Designed the farm. Wrong word, wasn't it? Hey, 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 steady. Good girl, good girl. Get him in. Get him in. Good girl. Three hundred and seventy pigs delivered. I don't think they're real small. Phil says they're tiny, but I don't know. They're a good uniform size, really. There's a few little runts among them, but they're very stocky pigs. I know that. So yeah, the idea is some bacon is left. You see, so what we're going to do? We're going to split a few into little yard when they've gone. And uh, the plan is tomorrow. All these are getting filled up. There'll be three hundred going in there. Three hundred in there. 300 and 300 so but we've got some a new gate what ollie's made here what wants uh, them two gates is uh, knackered like bottoms have rotted off and pig shit just does damage to everything so yeah two new uh, gates going on there first thing in morning and uh, yeah it's quite cold tonight card isn't it about time you give these half an hour in here you won't be able to See them if you come out at nine o'clock, they'll all be they'll have woof, uh, fluffed all that bloody straw up and they'll all be nested down and uh, sort of half and buried. Marvellous invention, the tech screw. We use them for everything. These are coarse thread ones, but they do a fine thread one. And they're like a little drill bit end, what'll drill through steel. Like he's off through two, two mil, two mil a galvanised sheet, because that's double up. And then this, the steel we used is three mil. And it just, what you want, you just watch that. And then as soon as they drill the hole, hit the thread, and then they pull themselves in. They are the cheapest of things, but bloody hell. They're, uh, well, they're taking the place of a rivet. Right, move? what? Is that move? Or out? Mm. Go on. outside of it or something. Oh, 
Just go to there, yeah, there. He thought he was so professional, didn't he? But let himself down there, didn't he? Was Some of them do break off, like that breaks off, so but I always drill an hole with a good one. Oh, I've just hit some hard. I hit some hard. Have it end. Oh, we'll just go to right, yeah. Ends broke off in all, so that's obviously hard. that's harder than steel. Oh god, he's shaking bad. Things. Isn't he? Are you even near my line? Is I'm on, on I'm absolutely bang on the line. Don't blame me. Where though? Where? Any ideas where that's from? Someone commented about the roof sheets. Well, they blew out on windy night. One stormy night, we never replaced them. And yes, it's only uh, Perspex. We should be taking that lot down, really, because just in case it falls on anybody, but we might do it today while we muck out. But we, don't, we aren't going to replace them because it creates a lot of airflow. And, uh, and in stuffy conditions, like, like how damp it is. We want airflow so we don't get new money, you see. Which I can imagine is rife at the moment with weather as it is. Right, if you like this channel, like and subscribe. Uh, do two or maybe three a week, depending on what's happening. A lot of cow work at the moment because. I mean, there is things happening on farm, but not a lot. There's definitely not a lot happening on land because it's as wet as ever. But I just I don't know. I'm being up to very optimistic, and I think there's light at the end of the tunnel. It's just the the, the long range forecast from now is a little bit colder and looks a little bit more like more settled. So yes, fingers crossed because uh, we've. Uh, because 2023 was probably the wettest years, and we're definitely the wettest back ends in my memory. I've seen water stand and come across roads where I've never seen it before. My dad reckons it's been as deep many times before, but he's got a lot more history under him. But no, what a bloody, what a year, eh? So here's to 24, and to be fair, it started off fairly good. We've sold, we sell the Jetta, we sell the, feed, the feeder wagon, and uh, we sell another couple of machines, so and to and we've got very very little for sale at the moment. Um, I've got a few places to visit and a few sales coming up, but you know, watch this space because uh, this YouTube thing has got quite a advantage to sell machinery. It's a, a vast audience of of farmers. I don't think there's a lot of other people. Well, there is general public watching probably. Well, I hope so. But let's try and get to, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers this year. You know, I seem to be stagnant at eight, I think 8,700, something like that. And uh, I seem to have got very stagnant. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, do us a favour and press the subscribe button. There's no cost involved whatsoever. All it means is when, if you're subscribed, my videos come up on your, you know, as soon as you put your YouTube in, I think they come up. I don't really understand how it works. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so do us a do us a favour and subscribe, please. So but right anyway, I'll crack on because lads are here in a minute. We've got loads to do. So right, bye for now.